Welcome to Tuffner. This is how to set up and install and basic troubleshooting for your hand sanitizer. This is the model with optional drip tray and full stand. As you see, there's a locking mechanism at the top. Use the provided key, twist, to expose. This is our in-shop model. We are currently using this uh, for our own hand sanitizing needs and purposes. It's already full bottle. We're going to be using a second prop for the demonstration purposes. Typically what we would do is we would remove this starting by the nozzle at the tip, pressing down on the bottle to release it from the back tip, and remove the bottle. Place a finger here to prevent any leaking of material when you invert. For the time being, we're going to set this off to the side. You will note that this is the battery door. Lift up and pull forward. Currently, we have no batteries in this unit. Any four batteries, C cell will do. First one goes positive down, second one positive up, and again, positive down, and then positive up. Note, there are grooves on either side of the battery door. Slide the door all the way back, and then gently align with the guides. Press down, and you will see that there is a flush clip inside. The unit now has battery power. Press up to turn on. This is the priming switch. Note that sound. That is the motor engaging. If the motor does not engage, please call our helpline located at the bottom of your touch-free dispenser installation manual. For right now, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. To reload the bottle, we are now using an empty. Start by placing the dispenser underneath the locking tab and aligning like so. With the nozzle, press and then gently seat the rubber hose inside. Again, Press up to turn on, and the button below to prime. Press the prime button until sanitizing dispensing occurs below. If you prime and nothing comes out, remove the bottle, placing a finger on the vent, and gently squeeze from the top to the bottom until solution squirts out. You are removing an air bubble that is stuck in the hose that the motor cannot force free. Once you've completed that, again, reinstall, lining up the bottom, pressing into the top locking, press the prime button once, making sure that it completes a full cycle, and close the unit, and then dispense from below.